In the preface of the very first of the three books, the author explains how she wrote them specifically to show people the dangers involved in this kind of behavior. So the value, well, I have a list of awards as well. We could have a lot of fun with those. The value of the books is clear. They can serve as a warning to any reader. How did I react to the story? When's the last time you personally read a book that was so powerful that you found yourself talking to the lead character, pleading with her not to fall into that whirlpool of self-destruction that comes from substance abuse? When's the last time you found yourself talking to a character in a book? Maybe that says more about me than the book, but I'm not sure. Imagine a writer who describes a character so well, a drug so well that it turns into a character in the book, a character she calls the monster. These are incredibly valuable books. Are they fun? Absolutely not. Are they brutal? Absolutely they are. So why would I recommend that we keep them in the high school library and in my case, encourage high school kids to read them because they are so very educational about the monster and the never-ending cycle of self-destruction that the monster creates in the lives of young people who fall into its grip. 